Boromir's Redemption. Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel STF Wargaming Studio. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking. And while. And welcome to episode number 207 of the Middle Earth Grand Campaign. It is Boromir's Redemption from the um, journey book of the Fellowship of the Ring, released in 2005 by Games Workshop. Uh, this now is linked uh, with the episode we played last week. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't watched that, just uh, go ahead and pause, watch that video, and then come back. Because, spoilers, you have been warned. So this scenario will take... Um, has a random game length. It mm -hmm. is uh, the exact number of turns that we played last game. So eight turns. Yep. Horrendously fast. I'm not sure I'm going to make this. But um, you have in the middle of the board Boromir with the two hobbits, and then surrounded on two sides, you have, uh, well, um, like a corner, you like this like. Um, 18 Urukai and an Urukai captain. So it is, of course, the goal to for Boromir and the hobbits to last as long as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, and my goal as the evil player will be to capture the hobbits and run off the board with them. Mm. We have done a bit of measuring and doesn't seem like I'm going to get the grips with the hobbits until about round uh, six or seven, six or seven, yeah. depending on heroics and stuff like that. Yeah. So could be yeah. a bit dodgy to play it at eight turns. We will not like leave the game if it lasts longer. We will just play it until yeah. conclusion. And but then at, at turn eight, I will win, and then we will continue playing. And if at turn eight, uh, you might have won. I might have won. I'm probably going to win at turn eight because <laughs> yeah. it's very unlikely I'll get the yeah. hobbits out before that. It's 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 a deadly encounter for you mm. on with the eight turns, but it's deadly encounter for me uh, with more than yeah. eleven. That's I think. true. Uh, I'm not allowed to shoot up hobbits nope. to remove fate points. I was hoping I could, but I can't. Um, and yeah, no reinforcements, no nothing. Very straightforward and simple. So, with that said, we'll show you the board and the armies after this. Even as Aragorn struggles with dozens of Urukai at the top of Amonhen, yet more of the foul creatures stream through the trees and undergrowth of the lower slopes. Shielded by the enchantment of his elven cloak for much of his scramble down the hill, Frodo threads his way past the searching Urukai, making for the boats moored far below. Careful as he is, the Urukai are too many to be avoided indefinitely, and only chance destruction by Merry and Pippin saves him. Unable to tell one hobbit from another, the Urukai began to chase Merry and Pippin, thinking one of them to be Frodo. As the two hobbits flee their pursuers, the fate seems certain. They cannot stand and fight several dozen Urukai. Yet just as the lead Uruks are upon them, Boromir comes to the rescue. Stricken and haunted by the memory of his recent betrayal, the son of Denethor resolves to fight to last in Merry and Pippin's defence no matter the cost to himself. Within seconds, Borm is in the fight of his life. Only skill and tenacity can save the hobbits now. And so begins the battle. Boromir intent to try to save his valor from making Frodo run away and possibly faces doom. He now protects the two remaining hobbits he can find, Merry and Pippin, and must prevent them 
uh, for being taken alive or dead by the hand of Saruman. So, uh, in this mission, we have Merry, Pippin, and Boromir facing against 18 Urukai and an Urukai captain um, coming in on the board from uh, these two table edges. Uh, it is the mission for the Urukai to manage to take and escape with the hobbits during the uh, restricted turns. Uh, and Boromir needs to try to cleave through as many as possible for them not to make that a possibility. Um, there's no reinforcements, uh, but there is a turn limit. And since we had a good victory at turn 8 in the last game, yeah. it is the intention of this mission uh, to last for 8 turns. I have to both take the hobbits and escape with them within eight turns. Yeah, I think we'll give you We a... don't think that is possible. No. No. So we might play as many as 11 turns yeah. and then roll as the scenario suggests. Well, it actually suggests on the uh, prior priority rolls. Yes. Uh, Drawn from 11 and turn yeah. 11 onwards. So we, we will see what happens. I, I'll still try to do it within as short amount of turns as possible. Uh, but yeah, it might not be doable to do it in eight turns. So, we'll Good see. Luck. Good luck. And uh, you start off with priority. Let's see, I'll move four inches towards you. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did now. <laughs> Boop. Boop. So, yeah, and the Urukai cannot fire at the hobbits. Uh, and uh, But Boromir is fair game. He's... Uh... Yeah, but I can shoot him. I can shoot him. Trying to shoot him in the back. Some backup. So we'll move all the Rukai and come back. Sending forth the forces of Saruman as fast as possible towards the hobbits and Boromir. Everyone except one of the archers is able to. Well, everyone except one archer. Is not able to shoot. Uh, so the last one that can shoot at Boromir will do so. Plugging one arrow in him. Hopefully he doesn't hit. Okay. So going for priority turn two. Goes to evil. Oh. <laughs> Important turn two priority. Doesn't matter. All right. We'll come back. The hobbits are lagging a bit behind Boromir as they race towards the edge of the board with the Urukai close in. Uh, we have the main brunt of the Urukai force led by the captain over on this side, while this pack of archers and Urukai with shields are attempting to shoot down and control Boromir. So, uh, sadly, these two are outside range, while these uh, this one is uh, moving full. But these three can shoot, and will do so on Boromir himself. So we have three shots. All oh. three hits! Uh, needing sixes to wound. Come on, sixes, three sixes, and Boromir's dead. No sixes. Fluffed it on the second roll. Okay. Priority. Yes, sir. Uh, this is turn three. Goes to you me. get priority. I'll move. Of course you will. Obviously. <laughs> Boromir. Yeah, so he... So that's 24 inches, so he can't get away from any archers. They're in 18 inch range. Yeah, but plus 6 movement, 24. Uh, half movement, 3. Oh, so 21. 21, that's right. But there's still... Um, would still be within range. Yeah. So he can... Um, he can move a bit if you want to. No, he can move uh, behind yeah. the rock. <laughs> I could, yeah, I could actually stand there. Yeah. It's kind of... I, I could even get Because then you're behind Mary as well, so I can't yeah. shoot him at all. <laughs> it feels... Gamey. <laughs> but still. You do what you want to. Yeah. It's you. Yeah. I'll move all my Urukai and we'll come back. The waves of Urukai are now closing in on the hobbits with Boromir nowhere to be seen because he's hiding behind the rock. Um, so no shooting this turn, so going into turn four with...
priority, it goes to good. Again. But it's okay because I know where you're going. Behind the rock, behind the woods. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, I'll move. Getting ever closer. The Urukai are now mere inches away from the hobbits, but I will not be able to call a heroic move because my captain is way over there. So yeah, they will escape for this turn at least, because Boromir can call a heroic if he wants to. Going into turn five priority, it goes to evil. Heroic move from Boromir. Yeah. Or we're just going to sacrifice Mary. <laughs> no, I will not. No. No. So Boromir moves first, and these two has to move. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can do something. Let's see if I can do something. Mm. Okay. With the captain now in position, I might be able to snap up the hobbits during this next round, if I'm lucky, at least one of them. So, um, we have all the Uruks now gaining ever closer to the hobbits with Boromir behind the wood there, maybe lapping around to come in to defend them. Who knows? But we get a priority roll for turn six now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is a two. It is a three. So heroic move with my captain. I will counter it with Boromir. Yeah. So you roll. See who gets it. Goes to good. Damn it. Boromir is done moving. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking like, should I just move into the woods? One inch, um, another inch, then two more inches. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, let's see what I do after I come back with movement. Freak movement. Heroic movement. Yeah. Do you call with me? No. Uh, no, not in this case, because, yeah, why would I? I don't know. <laughs> why would you? Why would I? So the trap is soon ready as turn six is soon coming to a close. We have Urukai on each side of the forest and two Urukai in the forest as well, with Boromir straight on the other side and the two hobbits the further side of the woods but before that we have six shots at Boromir trying to diminish him before we get into combat we have four black dice within the ways and two brown dice without uh, let's see the two within the ways hit and they go through needing sixes to wound no wounds damn it okay so going into turn seven Goes to evil. Uh, heroic move with the uh, Burma. Last point of might to counter. Uh, let's see who gets it. Goes to evil. Fantastic. All right. So we will come back after moon because I think good won't be able to move at all. So after evil movement is done, we have this situation. We have two Urukais on Pippin, two on Merry, the Urukai captain, and two Uruks on Ara Boromir, uh, with two Urukais lagging behind, four Uruks over here, and the six archers lapping around to enclose them in the trap. So it is turn seven. We just measured. I can't get out. If I knock them out, I'll be here. <laughs> Next turn. Uh, next turn. So yeah, uh, it's it's possibly not doable by eight turns, but we'll we'll try our hardest to get it. So um, 
Boromir's not calling a hero combat because he will be... Um, he won't be able to kill. Yeah, you won't be able to kill them all because one of them is captain. Uh, it was my priority. You choose. So I choose and I'll do Boromir first because he's trapped. So captain and two. Captain oh. in... In the special, brown. Special dice. Yeah, six is anyway. And rolls a six. I have the higher fight, so I need a six. You get a I five. I spend a point of might. Yep. Yeah. So they're knocked uh, back. So I have two points of might left. Yep. So I wound the captain on uh, fives, fives and the other guys on fives as well. So, um, captain? Nope. Put a might. No. No. Should have. Should have. And no. No wounds. Okay. Um, so they're all backed away. They're all backed away. So the hobbits are taking out Mary first. Uh, getting force, so we win. He's pushed back. And then, let's see, I need force. Double force, and he's knocked prone and unconscious. Mm -hmm. So he's there as an objective currently. Mm -hmm. um, over here, we have... Pippin. Pippin. Oh, you get a six. I need to get a six now. It's one out of the tray. Oh, Pippin wins. In and kills range, one. Killing an Urukai. Which one do you uh, want? As he sees his friend go down. Oh, wow. Very heroic. Very heroic work of Pippin. Then we have turn eight. Yep. Priority for turn eight. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a one, so it goes to you. Even if you're all the one. Yep. So I've that, spent both my might points, so I can't do anything. But he's now a token for the rest of the game. Yep. Okay. So. still catch up to him but mm -hmm. um, and he's just stuck yep but he will charge oh there's only you can only charge this this one that guy yep charge in there yeah okay let's see what we do <sighs> okay so we'll come back after Uruks have moved all right, so we are back, and as you can see, the Urukai has taken possession of Merry um, and is in the process of trying to take out Pippin as well. With Boromir swarmed by a horde of Uruks, um, we we uh, <laughs> we realize that Boromir, of course, has his Horn of Gondor, and uh, our rolled the Courage Test, so Boromir has regained his point of might that he used to win the last combat. All right, so he blows his horn again. Urukai captain uh, will Five. make it with a will point. He's got four, four, yeah. Yeah. four courage. Cool. So then we fight it out. Then we fight it out. Duke it out, man. So Urukai captain now mightless gets a five. No, he's good. Yeah. Well. So you roll the six. So you do get it. Fives. Fives on everything, yep. These three. Yep. Two of them is dead. Cool. Uh, Pippin combat. So you have four. Are all four? It's just enough. Because you have the higher fights. I do. So Good doubling up the strikes. Um, that is just enough. That is just enough to knock him out. Priority turn um, nine. Nine, yes. Nine. Uh, goes to good. So I do have my screen, my nice screen of Urukai. You can't get through. I 
could get to like there, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just a bit. Just a bit. All right. Um, I'll move these two off mm -hmm. with uh, Mary. And I'll move three inches with this guy with Pippin in tow, and then move one to help carry the heavy object. And then we'll just gang up on Boromir, because that's nice. And then I'll make a, uh, a screen, so that you can't just rush through next turn. There we go. So you're blowing the horn again. Urukai captain gets it. That's fine. Um, sadly, there is now a squishy Uruk there, and you win. Uh, you win one of them on a four. So. So this one you win on a four. Yeah. The rest so. of them on fives. Yeah. Oh, three kills. So yeah, he he was the first die roll. Yeah, so you want like that? Yeah, yeah. Do do do. He's a mean killing machine. Priority turn ten goes to evil. I could do a heroic to try to get closer, but I won't be able to get into combat with those two guys. Mm -hmm. So I'll just let you have it and move uh, Pippin uh, off. Yeah, in turn ten. Yep. So still within the normal mission parameters, but sadly not uh, for our mini campaign. So we'll just see if we can manage to kill Boromir in the last turn. Like that. Uh, before that, I'll shoot three <laughs> shots into combat. With an in the way for yourself? No. <laughs> <laughs> One hit hitting me. Not killing me. Good. And then we'll do Courage the... Courage test for the captain. Yeah. It's he not fine, fails. so you lose. I lose. And then I kill two guys on fours. Yeah. So pri prioritizing those two. Mm -hmm. No, actually, I have to roll this out. So kill. Kill. Uh, not no kill. Kill. And then kill. kill. So two more archers are gone. And then the game is over. All right. Thanks for the game. And uh, yeah, let's come back with our thoughts on this mission in the post battle battle breakdown. All right, welcome back to the post battle battle breakdown. And as we have discussed in like before the game, during the game, and during the game, I couldn't do it in, in eight turns. No. no, I got one Hobbit off in turn nine and then the other one off in turn. 10 yeah. yeah so if we'd play this uh, as a one-off i would have done it within the time limit yeah um so i i take that as a minor victory in my end um you call it a draw whatever well uh, yeah <laughs> but but yeah it was a cool scenario um i think the result is inevitable but maybe not within the turns yeah i yeah, yeah, you could. I could maybe have thrown Boromir in, mm. maybe, or have had a larger. If it, the corner had a larger wooden piece, or like a uh, forest piece, yeah, large base, I could like, kind of get stuck in difficult terrain. Mm. Maybe it would have helped, um, but just stalling tactics. But there are quite a you Urukai coming from like two two sides so it's I don't know mm. I you'll probably let me know in the comments how to pull this off in more than 10 turns more than 10 yeah. turns yeah no but it's a, it is a cool scenario um, and um, yeah it it goes directly into next week which will we will play uh, the breaking of the fellowship where every little piece comes together so we'll have the full force of the Urukai, 18 plus a Captain and Lurtz, and then we'll have Aragorn, Legolas, Gimli, uh, and Boromir. Mm. So none of the Hobbits, uh, because 
two of them have naffed off and two of them have been carried away by uh, by Urux mm. at this point. So it will be it will be fun to see uh, how we can end this. But fair not. In two weeks we will have <laughs> not only our fourth year anniversary, but we'll also have uh, the full breaking of the fellowship uh, in the new Middle Earth um, SPG version from the Armies of the Lord Rings. Yeah, I think yeah. it is. Um, so, so yeah, we'll we'll have that one for you in two weeks' time. Mm. Four years. Mm. Yeah, it's been. Maybe we should have a live stream around that. Around that date. Yeah, if my babies haven't arrived. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a live stream at the hospital. <laughs> waiting. No. no. We we we've well, already talked about this. I'm not allowed to film or otherwise live stream the event. No. Well, you've all you've talked about that. Not for the channel. <laughs> not not oh, for right. SDF. Okay. Um, uh, not for SDF. <laughs> uh, but I, I did talk about filming the event. Uh, okay, well. let's... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> big... That's not the discussion. Big digression yeah, there. Yeah, uh, yeah, so, yeah. thank you so much for watching. Um, so far, 207 <laughs> episodes. Uh, if you have watched every single one of them, do comment in the comment section below, because that's a mighty feat. It's yeah, you deserve a star as well. Yeah. yeah, big imaginary gold star. For hearts. Oh, hearts, hearts yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so thank you so much. And uh, and yeah, um, if you've liked what we've done so far, you can uh, support us on Patreon using the link in the description below. It is a fantastic way for you to um, be able to increase our efforts and, uh, and give us the means and support to do even more with this. We can do, um, we are currently saving up to do live streaming equipment. Mm. So uh, if you want to help us achieve that, do donate uh, whatever you feel uh, is, is um, fair for you, I guess. Mm. You can don uh, donate as little as a dollar a month, or if you're crazy, like one person we know, $50 a month. Um, every little bit of support helps us in ways you can't even imagine. All of this wouldn't be here at all. Or even just comment, like, and share, and subscribe, and tell your friends about the channel um, and this crazy campaign yeah. we're doing. It helps spread the word. And, uh, and apparently some algorithms from... Uh, this platform we're on without saying the name I don't know if that <laughs> it will something um, doing commenting and having interactions uh, helps um, the video to spread and show it to more people mm, so um, yeah thank you to everyone that's supported us so far um, and will support us in the future as well uh, we've lost the, we didn't do this no we thing, didn't so do the standard thing we don't know what we're talking about now so i think we'll just say um as always support your hobby <laughs>